What's going on my Hylians? This is Spiky Belmont and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. What's 9 plus 10? 21? Boy get your stupid self out of here! This is my video! If I got Alright, let's get the real video started. What's up my Hylians? This is Masterling40 and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you guys remember in the last episode, we returned to Kakariki Village as Young Linked and obtained the Lens of Truth. Yes, the Lens of Truth. Yes, yes, yes. In today's, in today's episode, we're going to explore the next dungeon, the Shadow Temple. But before we get started, please do me a huge favor and click on that like button. It really does help out the series. It really does. Now, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Alrighty, so you might be winning. There goes a little hookshot target. Let's go ahead and click on that. So, here we go. Let's see. The Shadow will yield... Oh my god, the shadow will yield only to the one who has the Eye of Truth handed down to, in Kakarika Village, which is also known as the Lens of Truth that we got in the last episode. So, let's go ahead and equip it up and see if there's anything we can see. So, you see, boom, now we can see where we're at now. You see, there's nothing important over here. And like I said, this will decrease your magic if you keep it on all at all all the time. <laughs> so, so, we got the magic, long magic bar during the, during the fire temple. So, I don't have to worry about that. Once one who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in this darkness. Hmm. Anything important over here? Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Greed and hatred. We don't want to head over there because there's nothing important over there. We will do one here. Oh my goodness. See? The same thing. It says the same thing over and over. What is hidden in the dark to the darkness? Tricks full of it. It will. Tricks full of ill, well, you can't see the way forward. Well, since we have the Eye of Truth, we can be able to see just fine. All right, let's go ahead and go through this story. And then, boom, we're fighting the dead. We're defighting the dead hand of a boss again. And you can kill these guys if you want to, and kill the death hands if you want to. Get off of me! Here we go. How did that not work? Get back here. How did that not work? All right, all right, get down here. And yes, they will grow back. If you guys didn't know that. Whoa, what was that? Get off me. Get back here. Well, yeah, the dead, the infinite hands won't give you that much. So, like I say, oh boy, that was too close. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let me see if he doesn't die this time. Maybe. Oh, never mind. Like I was saying, since we had the lens of truth now, if you've figured out where the heck he was hiding and where the hiding spot was, you can place a bomb right there, and then boom, he could pop up without even messing up with the infinite hands. But, I wish we could show it, but, mm, oh well. Let's go ahead and open up this chest. And we've already obtained the dungeon item, the hover boots. With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside? No traction. You can even use these to walk on short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. After all, these boots are very useful sometimes and they will, will be annoying to you sometimes. <laughs> this since we got it. Eh, yeah, no biggie. When I first played this game, I thought these like like slippers or something. Like, what is Link gonna do with slippers? I mean, seriously. What is Link going to do with slippers? I mean, seriously, I don't understand that. And I am not going to read these anymore because we've already read these. And the only way you can keep your magic, like, without even de magic, without your magic decreasing with the Lens of Truth, it just keeps spamming the crap out of the, keep spamming the crap out of the Lens of Truth button. But that will get annoying sometimes, but oh well. Alright, since we're finally out of that, and I think we're going to get in, actually, no. If we get close to here, it says... Make my beak face the skull of truth, the alternative descent in the darkness. Okay, what you're supposed to do is just push this to the right look, skull, the skull uh, totem, I guess. If you get it to the wrong, this will just randomly just turn turns into a bombless pit or whatever. You know, I'll go ahead and show it off. And I recommend you keep the uh, hover boots on if that happens. So if you get it wrong, this will happen. Yeah, that will happen. And then boom. What you want to do is push it on this 
actually no you want to push it on this one right here because the rest of these are fake and this is the real one so we need to push it about two more times so let's do this Once you get the correct path, that little, um, then a little cage or the little the little bars over there shall open. Boom and boom. Alright, so once you go down here, you will like, find a Beemos, which you haven't even seen in a while. Yeah, we haven't seen these guys in a while. If you guys remember how to kill these guys, all you have to do is kill them with bombs. You can stun them with your arrows, bombs, or your, uh, hook shot. In the stun its eye but it's not that hard so what you do yeah like i said just place a bomb or yeah that's like i said it'll stun it'll stun them like that all right try this again then boom it's defeated sometimes it will pop out bombs sometimes it won't so if you look around one of these will you have to crack open this one and then one will just send you to a trap door and one will just send you to another puzzle we can solve that one i'm pretty sure it just contains the um, the compass or the dungeon map, which we're not going to get. We're going to come in here and look here. Another silver rupee puzzle. So let's go ahead and collect them. That's one. There's two. Ow. There's three. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you want to... Actually, no, you can always just hook shot there. Or do that too. Here's four. And the final one should be around here. Wherever it is. No, there it is. Ow! Son of a... And then, boom, the path shall be open. <laughs> Ow! Mm. Ow! I need to stop doing that. Ow! Let's go ahead and contain our first small key in this dungeon. All right, what do you do? We're doing so far so good. And get down! Ow! I need to stop doing that. Yeah, this thing will get annoying sometimes. Get down, Link. Oh, that was close. Alrighty, I think the Beemos, yeah, Beemos is gonna pop up again. Like I said, these guys will take at least one heart per damage. But I'm gonna see if I can ignore these guys. Yes, yeah, by setting its eye. But we're not, but we now we can now move on. Boom. Let's see. Well, you'll find yourself some skull, giant skull tools around here, so I recommend you take it nice and easy. You'll find one right about now. Boom! Just kill them with your hook shot, arrows, or whatever you got equipped, and you're good to go. You'll find another one right now. Ooh, that was too close. And another one. And you'll find one more. And watch out for these little choppers over here. Choppers, yes, choppers. And now we will warn you about the wall masters again. Yes, the wall masters are in this dungeon as well. It's a, well, it's the shadow tip. What'd you expect? And be very cautious with these freaking blades. So what we're going to do is head over to the left, but it's completely optional. You will find a, another gold scotula around here. You, like I said, this is very completely optional, so it doesn't matter. And then I'll go ahead and quit my fairy bow. So what you'll find in this room are some annoying keys and another like-like. Oh my goodness, how many of these niggas are there? I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it. I don't like I don't like fighting these guys. Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But these guys are just I don't know. Alright, that's done. Now there should be some keys around here. Yeah, I hear them. They should be around here somewhere. Now here's one, I see one. Alright, that's one. I think there's two more. Ow. No. Oh. Yeah, there's one more. But I don't know where the other one is. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh there we go. Alrighty. And, you know, so in case you did, in case you lost your stuff in that like-like, 
this would contain a shield, but it would contain a five rupee instead. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab our something gold scotula. How many do we have? We have a total of 22. And this will be our 23rd gold scotula. Alright, since we're done with this room, we can go ahead and get out now. Alrighty, since we're done with that. Oh boy. Alright, then you'll find yourself a random style foes just popping out of nowhere. I'm going to ignore these guys. Alright, here we go. Mm hmm. And look, another rupee puzzle. I hope I can make that. Alright, good. Let's see, there's a there's one behind this BMO, so I missed it. You know what? Why? Did, I don't understand why they make it do this. Cause you can't get protected from this at all. You can't. Oh boy, you can't kill the beamos. But I'm gonna try and get it without attacking it. There, I got it. And I ready to get away from it as soon as possible. All right. So nothing important over here. So what you're gonna do is, if you have the lens of truth, go ahead and there should be a hidden block over here. But I don't need it. It's... And I hear another ghost Scotula. So we're gonna stay like right around here. Alrighty, and just keep on pushing it until the second little stomper hits the block. Stomper, yes, stomper. Not yet. Alright, push it again. Not yet. One more time. There we go. However, once it hits both of them, go ahead and go right back here. And then, wait, before you push it, I think I saw the other Ghost Cthulhu, did I? Did I? Sweet. And that's 24. That is 24, right? See, I yeah, 24. See, I always usually lose count on this. If we get six more, we can get the uh, giant wa giant's wallet. All right, it's going to keep pushing this because you're actually going to be needing this block. Alrighty, so here we go. So let's go ahead and climb up here. Okay, and yeah, be very cautious and getting on top of here. If and go ahead and step in this switch, and the treasure chest should pop down. There we go. Let's see. I'm gonna be very cautious. Yeah, getting y'all over the place. So let's go ahead and obtain another small key. Yeah, the small keys did look weird in the game, but they look like more like an actual key in the uh, 3DS version. <laughs> Ignoring the Beemos, then we can go ahead over here. So let's go ahead and, and equip our uh, Lens of Truth once again, because you're actually going to need this. Unless you want to figure it out. See, there is a moving platform over here. Yeah, right there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get on it. And yeah, it's movable. So yeah, be very cautious about that, and then boom, let's go ahead and move on. So what you'll find is this room is another silver rupee puzzle, and some redads. So be very careful with these redads. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook shot. That's two. That's three. Let's see the fourth one. I uh, I see one over there. And yeah, what she's using truth. You find this weird spike. So I recommend you keep the hover boots on. And you'll, like I said, you'll find a redead. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. Done it. Simple as that. Then it's gonna hook shot right over here. And the last one is by that other redead, which I'm gonna kill right now. Once you kill all those, I'm thinking you're just gonna get a random reward. Probably, I don't know, probably a bundle of arrows. Or another blue rupee. I guess in case you lost your tunic as well. I don't know. Because. I, I just don't know. Alright, so, so all the rupees that room open, so let's go ahead and go through this room. And then, boom, we're already trapped. So, 
this is pretty simple. Let's go ahead and equip, equip our bombs. So what we're gonna do right here is throw that bombs into this little little skull. I would like a little skull statue. <laughs> statue, yes. Or bowl, bowl, whatever. I like throwing it right here because it's easier. Oh wow, how did that not work? Hey, let's try it again. That worked. Then boom, it will explode. Ooh, containing a another small key. <gasps> And the small key just pop again in nowhere, so let's go ahead and pick that up. And containing our 25th gold scotula. And you might be wondering, how do we get out? Alright, we need to kill all of the enemies in here, which are just annoying keys. I hear one. Oh, okay. That was too soon. Get back here! And yeah, whatever you do, don't light these guys on fire, because they don't actually use the fire. I think they will catch fire on that. Maybe? No? Do they? No, they don't. How do they catch fire, then? They have to use regular flames. I am, You know what? That's it. I'm not wasting any more arrows. Here, let me get my hook shot out. This is good. <laughs> get away. Alright, there's one more key over there. Actually, there's two more keys. Yeah, like I said, the hover boots will get useful sometimes, and it gets annoying, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so then we're done with that. Boom, we can now get out of here, and we can move on. Yes, and yes, and yes. Alrighty. Done, and done. Alrighty, so you might be wondering, how the heck do you get up there? If you have the if you have the Lens of Truth on and your hook shot together? Let's see. Boom. Simple as that. Yeah, I dare you to take a guess. I dare you to take a guess without using the Lens of Truth. I dare you to. It's not that hard. It really isn't. All right, so this, all right, this uh, little phase, there are some freaking windmill. Well, not windmills, fans. So you might be wondering how to avoid this. You're gonna have to be switching between your iron boots and your hover boots at most of the time. So let's go ahead and use your iron boots just to not, you know, you might, yeah, you will probably find, yeah, a skull tool around, maybe one or two, and you might be wondering you get through this. You could always use your hook shot or your long shot to go through here and to just avoid the fan. Or just when it's not running, use your hover boots. So, since it's just running, oh my gosh. I'm a lousy shot, but anyway. Oh, it stopped. Oh, well. Alright, so I recommend you keep your iron boots on. We're not going to go through that door because it's really irrelevant. It's not that important. So we're going to go in here and use the Lunge of Truth right around here. Then we're going to go ahead and switch over to our hover boots and go through there. And then boom. Alright. And we're trapped again. So, and we got ourselves another enemy, which is another version of Redead. These guys are called Gibdos. These guys do the same thing as Redead, so you just kill them like how you do to eh, Redeads. So anyway, we're, before we do that, let's go ahead and place a bomb right down here and use our Lunge of Truth as well. So, get away. And you might be wondering, there's nothing there. But if we can equip our Lens of Truth, there will be a hidden chest containing another small key. And let's go ahead and fight these Gibbos. Oh, no you don't. See, insta-kill, insta-kill. Go again. Alright, and then boom. Uh, door. Door should be open? No. That probably contains another five rupees. Well, let's see. Yeah, another five rupees, but we're full in rupees, though. Alrighty, since we're done with that, hmm. Alrighty. You know what? I'm going to have to end the rest of the episode. I'm going to have to end the episode right here. Alrighty. So in the next episode, we will continue the rest and complete the rest of the Shadow Temple. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please click on that like button. Comment as many times as you like. And if you haven't already, subscribe and join the Highland Squad. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Goodbye.